Hello everyone, it's Mel again. This time I'd like to share a altered box that I've made. Um, the box is actually wooden. Um, I purchased it um, in November at the NEC and thought, yeah, I'll alter that. And uh, it's taken me till February to um, actually get around to doing something with it. But in any case, I have now, so that's the main thing. Um, initially, I painted the box in a cream acrylic paint like the inside and then I looked at it and thought I don't actually know what to do with this now so I decided I would attempt trying to cover it in um, designer paper and I was a bit daunted by it but when I actually got started um, I found it quite easy surprisingly so the paper collection I used is this one here really really pretty it's by Peon Designs and it's actually called Tulip Bud um, I bought this um, last February when I went to stay with my lovely friend May Britt in Norway she took me to a craft shop um, just outside Oslo and I bought quite a few Peon Design papers I mean at the time they weren't really available in the UK but that's changed now but um, I mean they really are beautiful papers so what I did was I cut um, various strips of paper and stuck it with Mod Podge and then I took some trim and I've used this beautiful ivory Chinese braid trim. It's here. Um, I mean, it is lovely. I bought this from Annie, who is MS Garden Grove 1 on YouTube. Um, quite a few of the products I've used actually on this box came from Annie. And what I'll do is I'll put her YouTube name in the link below. Um, so I put the braid all the way around the bottom and then across the top of the box and then I decided to add some of this pearl string just across the top just to make a feature of the lid um, and then I decided to decorate it um, I use these really gorgeous pale green leaves um, these came from Annie so I've used let me tilt the lid so I've used three of those just there and then I used a acrylic flower, which are these ones here. These came from Annie. I mean, I absolutely love these. And they're so versatile for projects. I actually use them on my pin cushion. Um, I've used them on cards. They're fabulous and really, really reasonable prices from Annie. Um, and then I used several flowers and roses from um, Wild Orchid Crafts. So what I did was these peach roses, they are this bag here, which is 25 mixed pastel colour, cur small curly roses. Um, and um, it doesn't actually tell you the size actually, but they're the small curly roses. So you get pale blue, lilac, pink, but I've only got one pink left, and obviously the peach, which I've used a couple on there. And then I started filling in the gap, so I've got these beautiful top roses which are these ones here these are 25 top roses 20 millimeters um, they're from wild orchid crafts and then we've got some ivory roses um, these are the deep ivory open roses they're 20 millimeters and then just to fill in the various gaps I've got these beautiful peach hip roses. I'm going to have to order some more of these because they're just great for filling in your gaps on your projects. Um, so I've done that. And then I took some bling, um, which is this bling here. Um, I got this $1.99. I got this in the sale. And then what I've done is I've just literally cut off the parts that I needed for my box. I've got a bit there as well. And then this beautiful butterfly is by Recollections. Um, I had four on this pack. And I bought these from a lady called Crystal, who's on YouTube. I'll also put her link in the description box below. Um, but then again, very reasonable prices. I'm going to have to order some more of those because uh, they're absolutely gorgeous. And I've used two and I don't want to run out, so I need to uh, go and restock. So this is my shabby chic box. I am going to put some feet on it because I just feel it just needs to have a little bit of height. Um, I'm going to source them tomorrow 
when I'm out in town. Not quite sure what I'm going to use, but I am going to paint them in the same acrylic paint that I've used inside. I may also line the inside of the box as well, but I haven't decided on that yet. So I just wanted to share my beautiful box with everybody. Thank you for watching my video and I hope everybody has a good weekend and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.